Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're actually going to be talking about Patty Pimblett versus Rodrigo Vargas. Um, a little while ago this fight was announced and a lot of people thought it was going to be Cowboy Cerrone. And I, so I thought I even did a video um, before my channel got taken down and I had to start this new one. Um, and uh, nope, they announced that nope, it's not Cowboy, it's Rodrigo Vargas. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense considering the fact that Rodrigo Vargas is 12 wins, 4 losses, but he's 3-2 in his last 5, but he's 1-2 in, in his last 3. Um, he was he lost the decision to Alex Da Silva, um, uh, got disqualified against Brock Weaver 2 years ago, and then 10 months ago won a decision against Zhu Rong. 36 years old, again, I'm not saying it's impossible, I'm not saying any of those things, because we know the flaws with Patty Piblet. Uh, Patty Pippa lost the decision three years ago against Soren Bach. Um, but he's 4-1 and one in his last five fights, so you can't really knock the guy on that. Um, but when he fought Louis, uh, Luigi Venderami, when he fought him um, six months ago, Patty did get hurt in that fight because Patty likes to, he likes to fight like this, chin just right up in the air. And he has a big face, big chin, big head. And so it, it's it's a little concerning when somebody like Luigi. I guess you can say yeah, Luigi hits really hard, and Patty was able to survive that. But he was in some serious trouble. I mean, he seriously was uh, not. I just okay, weird. Um, but we, I mean, he is fighting this guy. He KO'd Mike De La Torre with a head kick three years ago. But, I mean, besides that, he's not really that big of a finisher. He's just not. Um, it's always a possibility with how Patty fights. It's always a possibility with how Patty keeps his chin up in the air. I just think youth is going to be on the side of Patty. Again, this guy's 36 years old, plus 310 underdog. So there's going to be some crazy odds on this, on him and this fight. Um, if you could do something like where he makes it to like round two or round three, something like that, you could probably make a little bit of money on. I'm not for sure. But I wouldn't bet on him, honestly, unless it's like a few bucks and intend to lose it. Uh, he stands 5'8", five, five, 71 and a half inch reach. Patty Pimblett, 17 wins, three losses. Four in one in his last five fights, minus four ten favorite. Uh, Twenty seven years old, big thing. Five ten, pretty big for the uh, weight class. Um, pretty tall, with a seventy three inch reach. So he's gonna have it has an inch and a half reach advantage. Um, again, as long as he doesn't get into this brawling match and keeps his chin up in the air and they go toe to toe and strike, you know, punch for punch. He, he should win this fight. He is the more, um, he is the better fighter. But he has to fix that chin up in the air style. He has to. I don't really care for this fight because there's nine year age difference. He uh, This guy has 16 fights while Patty has 20. It's just, I guess, you know, uh, the thing that Rodrigo Vargas has is the UFC octagon experience. He's been in there a lot. You know, he has, I think, three now. One, two, yeah, three. Doesn't fight very often. Uh, he made his debut two, two and a half years ago, then fought two years ago, and then fought ten months ago. So he doesn't fight all that often. Um... Again, I like Patty for this fight. I don't care too much for Patty itself. I think him picking a fight with Topora says a lot mentally because that dude's a savage. And we seen how good Damon Jackson was and Topora KO'd him, literally folded him up against the cage. So seriously, you gotta do better. But as always guys, please hit the thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can. You know what it is.